Hallelujah. Where the disciples were evangelicals. Read. That's right. Where they were non-denominationals. Read. Read. Where they were Episcopalians. Read. Read. Hallelujah. Read it. Read. Where they were Christian scientists. Read it. That's right. Where their religion was Scientologists. That's Read right. it. Read it. Seek it Where out. Where there was Protestant or Episcopalians or African Methodist Episcopal. That's right. Read it. Read it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you cannot read it in that book, dump it. That's right. That's right. You're going to be loyal to something some man started. Amen. But somebody said, you loyal to Christianity. You must not be listening to me long. No. My religious belief is not Christianity. No, no. At all. At all. You don't find no religion in the Bible called Christianity. No. You find Christian in the Bible. Christians in there was first called Christians at a place called Antioch. Yeah. A Christian is a person who act like Christ. That's right. A Christianity is a religion that came from hell. That's right. Jesus ain't never come and told you he started a religion called Christianity. No. This is what I advise you to do. Do seek, what? Seek ye out of the book seek of the Lord. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. And read. And read. Can you find a religion called Christianity? That's right. Read it. Read. Hallelujah. Don't be loyal to it and dedicate to it, shouting to it, falling all out behind the chairs, knocking people over, That's tearing right. their dress, ripping their pants. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Read it. Read. That's what you do. Read it. Amen. You go to these churches and being dedicated 5, 10, 15, 20 years, your mother raised you up in these churches. That's right. Read it. Read. That's right. The reason why these preachers are able to duke you, con you, and manipulate you because they know you don't read the Bible. That's right. So the preacher tell you, believe what I say, but not what I do. Liar. Lying. That's right. Believe what God says. That's it. And do what God says. That's right. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. Let's tie that in with what Jesus taught us. Search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. That's it. Seek ye out the book of the Lord and, and read it. Read. That sounds good. Amen. Thank God when I read the scriptures and make my teaching justifiable and make my teaching all coincide with what God believes. That's it. Because the book of scriptures let us know what God believes and what God don't believe. That's right. What pleases God, what displeases God. That's it. When man try to make two more with the one God, mm -hmm. I look at the scriptures and I read it. It says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Is one. They try to make two more with them. That's I right. can look and read the book of Isaiah. Mm -hmm. There's no God before me. There's right. no God with no me. God with me. There's no God that shall be after me. After me. And then God say, Yea, I know not, not in it. Any. That's right. And if God, who know all things, don't know no other God but him, but him, and you say you know other gods, why should I believe you? That's right. What man walking here smarter than God? Amen. Who's deeper than God? Amen. Who's broader than God? These men walk around with some little degree they got for some old college. That's man, right. God knowledge is longer than that. That's right. The greatest wisdom in the world is the wisdom of the most high God. That's right. And St. John chapter 5 and verse 39. What does it say, son? Search the scriptures. Go and say God. Hallelujah. Do what? Search the scriptures. You know what had messed men up? They searched everything but the scriptures. But the scriptures. That's what messed men up. That's right. They searched everything but the scriptures. That's right. And when you bring people to scriptures, oh, no, um, I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. Bible been changed. The scriptures, God, they say this, God's word been changed. Too many chimes. Now let me give you some knowledge. You can take this book and all the Bibles in the world, all the book of scriptures in the world, and burn them all up. But you have never got rid of God's word. That's right. Do you get me? That's right. You can burn all the book of scriptures all over the world like Hitler was doing in Germany. That's right. But Hitler never got rid of God's word. Not the word. 
God says my word is forever settled in heaven settled in heaven you got to go in heaven to get rid of the word and God is the word God is the word Bible said in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God holy when it said the word was with God that don't mean there was someone else with him no the word being with God meaning he's a God of his word that's it my word is with me. When I say a thing, I live up to what I say. That's right. I'm a man of my word. That's right. When God say a thing, and he's the, his word is with him. With his him. word is of him. He's a God of his word. That's Not right. one word will fall to the ground. That's right. If he say it, it got to be right. Got to be right. Search the scriptures. What? Search the scriptures. Do you hear this? Search the scriptures. Do you hear this? St. John 5 and verse 39. Search, search the scriptures. The, for in them. Search it. Search. Search. Search the scriptures. That's right. That's what I'm uh, inquiring people to do. Mm -hmm. Search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. Stop just going to church singing and giving money to some old hypocrite and preacher. Yep. Search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. And then you'll keep your money in your pocket. That's right. That's right. And see, if you search the scriptures right. and he's up there grunting and hollering with his hand over his ears and women preachers all in the pulpit and believe there's three gods and he tell you it's offering time, you'll take your hand out your pocket and leave it right there. Yes, you will. Because he's a liar. That's right. The reason why I know he's a liar, because what did I do? Search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. Why? For in them, in them, ye think ye have eternal life. <laughs> why? I, they are, are they which testify of me. Testify. Now, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, go ahead, man. Go ahead. I'm giving you a testimony of one. That's right. Every man that God ever sent, hear me well, have never testified of them. No. Jesus taught they testify of me, of me, of me, one. That's right. And when you testify of Jesus, hmm. you are aware and understand Jesus' teaching, That's right. his doctrine, mm -hmm. his standard, what he stood for, what he allowed and what he did not allow. That's why he gave his lessons to his apostles That's right. who are students of him. The apostles didn't go to the left nope. nor to the right. Oh, no. They stood firm until when Jesus died and came on back. That's right. He still helped the same thing. That's right. Then opened he They're their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. That's it. That the apostles understood the scriptures, mm -hmm. therefore their teaching never wavered. No. From the apostles. No. From Jesus. That's why the apostles understood clearly right. what Jesus meant in Matthew 20, 19. Go ye therefore. Glory to God. Here, here, Pittsburgh. Matthew here, 20, this, here, here, Pittsburgh. That's right. Hey, man, you church goers, you get this. Because mm -hmm. you've been going to church too long. Oh, yeah. Tell me you've been going to church all your life and thought you was a Christian. Jumping around, shouting. It is a sad thing. Not just Pittsburgh. The world is doing this. That's right. The whole religious world is doing this. That's right. Men come in town and claim they're preachers and run long revivals. And you have these revivals a whole week. <laughs> and all these prayer lines, $500 prayer line and $1,000 prayer line, $5,000 prayer line, $10,000 prayer line. Listen, listen, hear, hear, hear me good. You don't need a dime for God to answer your prayer. No. <laughs> you don't need one dime for God to answer your prayer or for the God of heaven to do one thing for you. That's right. Listen at Matthew 28, 19. Matthew 28 and verse 19. All right, Pittsburgh, we're going to read this. Read. Mm -hmm. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. That's what people is missing. Yeah. Teaching. Teaching. They got the choir. <clears throat> they got the jumping. They got the shouting. But they don't have no teaching. That's right. Go ye therefore. And teach all nations. Teach all nations. Baptizing them. Listen closely. Baptizing them in the name, in the name of the singular, Father, that's right. of the Father, and of the, Son, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. And what? Teaching them to observe all things. Teaching them to observe everything whatsoever. I have commanded you. Now, this is what the false prophets did. Mm -hmm. 
They added to what Jesus said. That's right. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. That's not what Jesus said. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name singular, of the Father. Singular. One. The name. My name is Jennings. You hear me break this down over the air, and some of you still stubborn. <laughs> That's right. My name is Jennings. That's right. But I'm a son at birth, husband by marriage, father because my wife and I got seven children. Mm -hmm. If I tell you to do something in my name, are you going to say son, husband, or father? Or are you going to call my name Jennings? That's it. You're going to call my name. Call your name. Like when Ali was fighting back in the 60s, he asked the man, what's my name? The man wouldn't say it and he paid for it. <laughs> Didn't he? He That's asked him, right. what's my name? And he paid for it too. That's right. And I believe eventually he said his name. Uh. Listen at what Jesus said. Matthew 28 and verse 19. Listen. Go ye therefore and teach all Teach nations. him. That's why I'm here in Pittsburgh this evening. <laughs> teach it. That's right. Teach it so you can stop going to these churches and learning nothing. Right. Amen. Everywhere I go, we have to open up the churches. There's so many places we go. Everybody all online. <laughs> Please open up a church here. 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 My God, man, they must think I'm a, a multi-millionaire. If I, if I was, I wouldn't leave no place, not a town nor a city, without opening up a church there. That's right. I had people here in Pittsburgh write me. When you come, please open up a church. Give me time. <laughs> Give me time. Yeah, man, because it ain't no false prophet going to like the idea of churches here. No. It ain't no preacher going to like it unless he loved the truth. That's right. That's the only way a preacher would like it. He loved the truth because if the preachers find out that the truth of God is going to open up a church here, you may find them picketing the church. Amen. And I like it better. Amen. We are come on out there with the Bible and bold them over with the scriptures. That's right. Hear me, Pittsburgh. Matthew 28 and verse 19. Look at your own Bible now. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Teach everybody. Baptizing them in the name. In the name. Of the Father. Of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. Now the whole world misunderstood that. Yeah. And the whole world practically. Practically. Been baptized wrong. That's right. That got your mother, your father, your slap happy grandpappy. Hey Amen. Your son and daughter. You. That's right. Husband and wife. You say, well, I got baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, like Jesus said. Mm -hmm. Jesus did not say ever, be baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. No. He never said that. Baptizing them in the name. In the name. He of, said, call the name. The name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Before you can be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, you got to know what is the name That's right. of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost That's right. so you can be baptized in that name in the of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's right. He ain't never did what you preachers are doing today mm -hmm. and what you people are doing, you go to in the arms of some old false prophet <laughs> who pray over you in a pool of water. Yeah. And then lie. I therefore baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And he take you down and bring you up. Listen, before you get out that water, tell him, listen, hey, Bishop, Bishop, Bishop. <laughs> you said you're going to baptize me in the name right. of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. But I never heard you call that name That's right. of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. So, Bishop. Please say what that name is. That's it. Of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. Otherwise than that, he take you down, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, bring you up. You got titles. You ain't got no name. That's right. All of you that been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and that's what the preacher said over you, you ain't baptized. No. You ain't never obeyed Jesus. No. All you got to do is read the word of God, and we all know that the apostles obeyed Jesus. That's right. Because Jesus told them to do what? Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Talking to his apostles. Baptizing them. Told them, go ye therefore. And teach all nations. Teach everybody. Baptizing them in the name. Baptizing them, thank God. God in the name of the Father, of the Father and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. He told him, go do it. Go do it. Well, we all can bear witness. 
They obeyed him. That's right. He was put to death in the flesh, quickened by the spirit. Blessed be the name of God. Rose the third day, and before he ascended above all heavens, he stayed around here. Yeah. Gave them some more teachings. Oh, yes. Told them that repentance and remission, and remission of sins should, should be, be preached in his this name. This is the book of Luke. St. Luke chapter 24 and verse 47. Says what? And that repentance. Look at what he told his apostles. Amen. That repentance. And remission of sins. And remission. Remission means removing. Should be. Removing of your sins. Should be preached. How? In his name. Who? In his name. Preach it how? In his name. Where? Among all nations be what, 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 what? Among Te all what? nations. Teach it where? Among all nations. Where are we going to start at? Beginning at Jerusalem. All right, let's go right to Jerusalem. Acts chapter let's 2. Let's go right to Jerusalem. That's right. Where the thing was preached at. That's right. Listen at this and follow me. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Follow me in your Bible. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Here it is. Amen. Peter said what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Peter ain't tell them to do what your bishop told you to do. No. Bow your head and raise your hand. Accept Christ as your personal savior. Touch the television and let the Lord come in your heart. You ain't That's got right. nothing but a warm hand or electric shock. <laughs> That's right. Bow your head and raise your hand. Accept Christ right where you are. Right where you Bible are. ain't never taught that foolishness. No. Pray some sinner's prayer and you hold the hand of some fake preacher. <laughs> or you watch him on television and he tell you, repeat after me. Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. I'm a sinner. I've done bad things. <laughs> Cleanse me. Cleanse me. Wash me. Wash me. White as snow. Come in my heart. Mm -hmm. Purify me. Amen. And the preacher said, friends, if you said those words, you're saved now. You no more saved than a smoking duck. That's right. No such salvation. That goes for if there's any preacher here. That's preaching that stuff. You're a liar. That's right. You're a Pittsburgh liar. That's right. And I ain't going behind your back. I'm going to tell you to your face while I'm here. Amen. You's a liar. That's a liar. You couldn't stand behind that fake religion if I was going to put you in an electric chair. Amen. You would just walk the green mile and burn. That's right. Do you hear it? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Any preacher in Pittsburgh that baptized anybody mm -hmm. using the words Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you are still a sinner. That's right. Including your pastor. That's right. You are nothing but a sinner. Amen. Now imagine you're following a preacher imagine. who don't know how to baptize right. Mm. A bishop that don't know how to baptize. Your daddy. My Lord. Many of you faithful to these churches because the pastor is your relative. That's right. He's your uncle, or he's your husband. That's right. Or he's your gambling grandpappy. Amen. I don't care who he is. No. You got to do it just like the word of God do it, said do it. And Peter on the day of Pentecost received the keys of the kingdom of heaven from Jesus. That's right. Jesus said, upon this rock I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against him. Peter, I give you the keys. Whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever shall be loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. That's right. Peter, on the day of Pentecost, stood up with the apostles after the Holy Ghost fell. Thank God he hit the earth, and he stood up with the eleven. That's right. And he declared what? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized. His prayer. That's it. Repent. 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 Not bow your head or raise your hand and claim you're a Christian. No. Where you get that fake man-made dry clean stuff from? Amen. Don't you know when you got your head down and hand up, you being robbed? Yeah. Ain't you caught on yet? That's right. The apostles, Jesus, none of them told you to do that. No. But because you was led wrong and taught wrong. That's it. These old money loving, stealing things that tell you anything mm. to get rich. That's right. Can you say God is using him? The devil out of hell is using him. Amen. Listen at this. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent, repent, I, repent. repent. See, God want to repent in people. Repent. A people felt sorry about doing wrong. That's right. People that want change in their life. That's right. Not some people that claim they're Christian with a cigar in your mouth. That's right. A pipe in your mouth. Amen. Smoking weed for municipal purposes. Amen. <laughs> That's <laughs> you right. Get what I'm telling you. That's right. 
Amen. Amen. You, man, you municipal smokers. Amen. Amen. You smoke your weed and speak in tongue, you old hypocrite. That's a hypocrite. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Do you get what I'm telling you? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Hear me. Hear me, bishop. You may not like the fact that Pastor Jen is here, but I'm here if you don't like it. I'm telling you, if you baptize Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you're still a sinner. That's you're right. not a preacher. That goes forth. I got any preachers in the house. That's Bishop. Right. Elder, evangelist, deacon, pastor. You're not a preacher. No. You're still a suit wearing, tie wearing, white shirt wearing sinner. Amen. With a Bible in your hand. That's right. Robbing the people you never even started. That's right. If any of you go to these churches that baptize Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, you go to nothing but a club. Amen. Tell your pastor I said so, because I'll be back. That's right. I'll be back. That's right. Oh, thank God I'll be back. Oh, yes. These preachers have baptized you wrong. Oh, yeah. Go to the Bible. That's it. What did Peter say? Peter said unto them, repent. You know what a fool would say? Mm -hmm. I'd rather obey Jesus. I'd rather obey Jesus. They know they obey the apostles. That's right. Your dumb thing, that's impossible. St. Luke chapter 10 and verse 16. You can't obey Jesus. Amen. Without obeying the apostles. That's right. Now let's get Bible for this. St. Luke chapter 10 and we're at verse 16. Follow me in the Bible. Saint Follow Luke. me in your Bible. Saint that's Luke. one thing our program is known for. Right. We give you Bible for everything. That's right. That's why I tell folk over the air, don't get mad at me. <laughs> Give chapter and verse. St. Luke. Uh, who, who, who? St. Luke. My name ain't Luke. No. No, it's not. Don't waste your time getting mad at me. You cannot obey Jesus right. without obeying his, his apostles. That's right. Impossible. Impossible. Listen at this. St. Luke chapter 10 and verse 16. Follow me. He that heareth you. Look at him talking to his apostles. He that heareth you. He that hear you. Heareth me. Oh, Jesus said you hear me. And he that despiseth you. If they despise you. Despiseth me. They despise me. And he that despiseth me. He that despise me. Despiseth him that sent me. And the one that sent that body or that flesh and blood into the world was the spirit of God. That's right. So here you baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost you are. You are. Look at what Peter said. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized be every baptized. one of you. How much? Every one of I you. I got everybody in Pittsburgh. Every church might as well padlock their doors. That's or right. open them so folks can be baptized. That's right. That goes for you too, Bishop. I don't That's care right. how long you've been pastoring. No. You can lead people to hell for 50 years. Oh, yes. We baptized a man. One of the ministers wrote, text me, so excited. They baptized a man last week, 101 years old. Wonderful. A hundred, he lived over a century to found out he was baptized wrong. Amen. All them years. All those years. Baptized wrong. My Lord. Who baptized wrong, Pastor Jennings? Mm -hmm. The Catholics do it. Well, the Catholics don't baptize you not even half right. Not even half right. They take you to an upright toilet bowl That's and right. throw some water. The priest throws some water on you, and you ought to throw it back on him. That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, you, it ain't no Bible say your whole body got to go in water. Give me the sixth chapter book of Romans. Romans chapter six, and we'll start it. I know some of you don't like the way I talk about religion. Who cares? <laughs> I don't care if you don't like it. You shouldn't be in what I'm talking about. That's right. Listen what I'm talking here. Romans chapter 6, we'll start at verse 1. Listen. What shall we say then? What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Shall we continue in grace? That shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. God forbid. How shall we that, are, shall dead we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? No, you not. That so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ. What? Were baptized into his death. Tell us how we're baptized. Therefore, we are buried with him. No, 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 no. We are sprinkled with him like the Catholics. We are buried with him. No, we are sprinkled with him like the Episcopalian. We are buried with no. him. No, we are sprinkled with him like the Protestant. We are buried no. with him. No, no. Amen. We are sprinkled with him like the African Methodist Episcopal. We are buried. No. Amen. No. Amen. We are sprinkled with him 
You see that? Mm -hmm. You see the Bible speak plain, we are buried with him. By baptism. By baptism. Into death. Into death. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father. What happened? Even so, we also should walk in newness Your of life. Your whole body got to go in water. That's right. Your whole body. Your whole body. Buried, not your buried. son's head, not your daughter's head. You bring your little children to some Catholic church and some up there getting baptized. That child don't know what he's doing. Mm -hmm. The Bible said repent. repent. How in the world a child going to repent for something they didn't do? That, that's right. The Bible says in Acts 38, and then, after that we're going to take a trail through the Bible mm -hmm. and see how every baptism was done in the Bible. Right. There's only three water baptisms in the Bible. That's right. Moses was baptized in the cloud in the sea. John the Baptist baptized unto repentance. That's right. Jesus' baptism Jesus. is what Peter is preaching here now. That's right. Listen at this. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. What? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. That's the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's right. The name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. To get your sins washed away. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy now Ghost. Now we're going to take a trail through the Bible. That's right. And I Pittsburgh, I want you to follow me mm -hmm. and see if you can find one person mm -hmm. that's baptized the way you are. That's right. Just one. Just one. Just one. One that's baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Oh, it's just one. Right. Some folk get baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are all in Jesus' name. Ain't no Bible say that. No. Some folks say they baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost upon the authority of Christ. Ain't no Bible say that. No, no. Just come on back to the Bible. That's right. And do it just like the Bible says it. That's right. All right, son. Now in Acts chapter 8, verses 15 and 16. Follow me. Who, when they would come down, prayed for them. Yes. That they might receive the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. For as yet, Listen at this. For as, For as yet, he was fallen upon none of them. The Holy Ghost didn't fall on none of them yet. Only they were baptized. How? In the name of the Lord Jesus. Do you see that? That's right. There was baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus down in Samaria. That's right. Now, some folks ask, well, can you receive the Holy Ghost first, first. before you baptize? Yes. Yes. Yes, you can. Give me the book of Acts of the Apostles. Acts chapter 10. We'll start reading verse, verse 44. 44. Acts chapter 10 and verse 44. These are for those that have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue before they're baptized right. Because right. some churches teach if you have the Holy Ghost, you don't have to be baptized at all. That's right. not what Jesus said. No. Jesus said, verily, verily, I say unto you, except the man here is born of the water and of the Spirit. That's right. Water and Spirit, he cannot enter in. That's right. When you're born of the water, and you're baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. And when you're born of the Spirit, you're filled with the Spirit, by the Spirit, speaking in tongue as the Spirit of God give utterance like they did on the day of Pentecost. That's it. All right, son. Acts chapter 10, we'll start at verse 44. What is it? While Peter yet spake these words. Hear this. Amen. While Peter yet spake the word, the Holy, the Holy Ghost, Ghost fell on, all fell on which everybody heard the word. that heard the word. And they of the circumcision which believed were astonished. Yes. As many as came with Peter. What happened? Because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. How did they know it? For they heard them speak with tongues. Yes. And magnify God. Then what happened? Then answered Peter, can any man forbid water? That's what I'm asking you. Amen. Once saved, always saved, liars. <laughs> That's right. Once saved, always saved. Can you imagine that fake teaching? Once saved, always saved. She's a liar. That's a lie. Ain't no Bible said that. No. Once saved, always saved. No. Can any man forbid water? That these should not be baptized. Yes. Which have received the Holy Ghost as well as he be. Yes. And he commanded them. No, he asked them. He commanded them. I ain't asking you nothing, Pittsburgh. That's right. Nothing. And he commanded I'm them. I'm commanding you like the Bible says. And he commanded, he commanded them, them to be baptized. To be baptized. In the name of the Lord. All right, let's find out what the Lord's name. Acts chapter 9 and at verse 5. Listen at this. And he said, who, who art thou, Lord? Lord? The Lord said, I am Jesus. Do you see that? That's right. All right, give me the 19th chapter that. Now in Acts chapter, chapter 19, and we'll start reading in verse 1. I'm taking one. a trail and show you every place where baptism took place. That's right. Where the apostles baptized. That's right. Listen at this. Acts chapter 19, we'll start at verse 1. Yes. And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth. Paul, passing through the upper coast, came to Ephesus. And finding certain disciples. He found those certain disciples were John disciples. He said unto them, what? Have ye received the Holy Ghost since ye believe? And? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. What? What's the next question he asked? And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? All right, Pittsburgh, that's what I'm asking. 
How were you baptized? That's right. You going to some church, jumping and shouting, holding your hands up, claiming you're praising the Lord? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> How were you baptized? Uh, to what then were ye baptized? How were you baptized? That's right. That's right. That's the question. That's the question. That's the question. You claim you Baptist and claim John was a Baptist, which is a lie out of hell. <laughs> John said, I'm not the light. I'm not the light. I come to bear witness of the light. That's right. And the one that he bear witness of was Jesus the Christ. That's right. Listen. And he said unto them, unto what then were ye baptized? How were you baptized, Pittsburgh? And they said unto John's baptism. Oh, we got John's baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance. Yes. Saying unto the people that they should believe on him, which should come after him. Who was that on? That is on Christ Jesus. What happened when they heard that truth? When they heard this, they were baptized. No, they got mad and got up and held their finger up in the air and walked out. When they heard this, they were baptized. No, they told Paul, I'm a Baptist born, I'm a Baptist gone, and I don't care what you say. When they heard this, they were baptized. No, they got mad and said, oh, Paul, well, my father was baptized, so I'm going to do it the way he done it. When, when they heard this, they were baptized. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Being mad at Pastor Jennings ain't going to help you now. That's right. <laughs> huh? That's right. Being mad at me, riding back home, cussing and yelling, pulling your cigarettes out your glove compartment because you are a fake smoking Christian that ain't going to help you now. That's right. You step two inches in the kingdom. You're going to obey this first. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17. What is it? And whatsoever you whatever. do. Whatever. Whatsoever you do. Whatever. Whatever. Wh and whatever. What's, whatsoever you do. What? In word. In word. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you do in word. Or deed. Or deed in action. Do all. How? In the name of the Lord Jesus. All right. Baptism is a deed. That's and right. baptism words are said. That's right. So 